Well, 13 Investigates found that neighbors in one part of Indianapolis are worried about drag racing that's happening along 38th Street. Now, drivers are sometimes seen going at least 70 miles an hour. In many cases, they're losing control. Gina Galeros takes a closer look at the damage these drag racers are leaving behind. It's prevalent. It's always there. Neighborhoods Danita Hoskin is referring to drag racing on 38th Street. I love my community and we want to make sure that people feel safe when they come through here. IMPD and council members well aware of the reckless driving around the city. This stretch in particular from Meridian to Michigan has been a serious issue since the pandemic. I really speak to the times because it seems like it's all the time. We have children and seniors who need to cross essentially seven lanes of traffic safely and deserve to. Cars duking it out and driving into this median and these giant concrete planters. Same goes for this wall at Crown Hill Cemetery. Council member John Barth rode along with IMPD last summer when more patrols made possible by a federal grant proved successful. The challenge is that kind of enforcement um, helps in the moment and for a period of time after that, but people forget quickly. And so as soon as the warm weather started again, we started seeing the reckless driving coming back. And so it's already escalating, and so we need to start taking action again. But that federal grant to pay officers overtime to patrol expired. When we don't have that grant, officers have to address those concerns in between taking 911 calls. We hope to get more funding so that we are able to continue those efforts. Uh, that's the only way we can focus on it for the, a specific allotted amount of time. So it'll take everyone to slow down to create a safer neighborhood for residents like Danita Hoskin. 38th Street is a magnificent corridor of our community, but we want to make sure that it's a safe corridor. Not just the residents in our, that are in our community, but people who are traveling through our community. So guys, the biggest takeaway is without that grant, that extra money to pay patrols, IMPD is holding a news conference next week to discuss how to make roads, not just in, on 38th Street, but roads all over the city safer.